Hey guys, it's Tavarnia from Merge.com with a guide on how to merge in Next Gear and Spirit Shields. Guides for other popular items can be found in the video description. First off, some general information about these items. They are price checked in the Next NSS friends chat, so if you plan to flip them, then you should make sure you're in here so you can stay up to date with the latest prices. Unlike Arcwark and 90 Web PC, Next NSS has its own price checking system. Chats using different systems usually make things confusing for people who are new to them, so I'll show you the next NSS system here. They actually forgot to mention the price ranges in this list, uh, which they do use all the time, so I added it below. Well, these are the rules, but in reality the current price checker decides whether a range or any of the other signs should be used. This makes things quite biased and unpredictable as well. More or less than a specific price, for example, is very vague, so it often leads to people instant buying or selling when that wasn't their intention. Another problem are the price ranges. When you present these to people, they tend to stick to them, which kills the profit margins. If the price checker in XNSS says an item is 19 to 20 mil, for example, almost nobody is going to try to buy it under 19 mil or sell it over 20 mil because everyone assumes that the rest sticks within the margin. Now, whereas in 90 Webs PC, for example, it's extremely common to make more than one mil per trigger because not everyone sticks to a fixed margin and you only get the last buy or sale. Now, this is important to keep in mind when flipping Next and SS items. Getting over one mil profit, profit on them usually only happens during larger fluctuations. You'll thus mostly have to flip them for 500k to one mil profit, which may not be worth it to everyone. That's up to you. Now the items in the next NSS chat are reported in these groups and orders. The spirit shields are in the order of Spectral, Arcane, Elysian, Divine. ZWB means Zarite Bow, Virtus Wand and Virtus Book. Torva Pernix and Virtus are all listed in the order Helm, Body and Legs. And the boots and gloves are strangely enough grouped together in the order Virtus, Pernix, Torva. It is unknown why these three aren't just listed as the full 5B sets, but you'll have to get used to that. Now, when it comes to update investments, Next and SS items can be great, but I cannot give you any specific strategies for them since each case is kind of different. What I can say is that you should keep a, keep an eye out on new updates and uh, any RuneScape news that you can find. Typical things to look out for uh, if you want to do update investments are, of course, new bosses, new monsters with uh, interesting drops, or changes to pretty much anything combat related. On the other hand, you should also keep an eye out for any non-combat related updates, because very popular ones uh, can result in people selling off their gear. If you can sell in time here and rebuy on the inevitable rebound, then you can make some great profit as well. Another important thing to keep in mind for these weapons, and pretty much all items in general, is the time of the day. You can learn more about it through the video link in the description. If you want to get more advanced with your merchanting, this is definitely something to look into. When it comes to merch, we provide live crafts for all of the items price checked in the next NSS French chat. These help you in short and long term investments. For flipping, you can just sit in a French chat in game like I mentioned before. There is little point in explaining Virtus, Pernix, and Torva separately. Their prices and fluctuations simply depend on which combat style the players want to use most at any time. If a new monster with a melee weakness is released, for example, it naturally means that Torva will rise and Pernix and Virtus might drop a little. To understand the current armor and weapon prices better, you can have a look at this video about the ranged buffs that Jagex had been doing and why they were not enough to even the three styles out. I make a comparison of the different combat styles in here and also of the different weapons. Now, as you can see on our live crafts, next armor is very stable, which is mainly caused by the price hacking system that they use. This doesn't make them too great for an active flips, as it is hard to get more profit than on an active flip. Short-term investing in them, on the other hand, works great. There are plenty of opportunities and it can be very decent profit. As for the Zarite Bow, at the time of making this video, it is the best two-handed ranged weapon, which obviously won't last. This, this summer, a level 90 two-handed weapon will be released, so if you're watching this video before then, be careful when investing in these. If you're watching the video after the level 90 200 weapons, then watching the price of the ranged web of this new ranged weapon will help you to determine when Zarid bows are under or overvalued. A certain ratio will take form after a while, like there is between Virtus Wand and Book and the Seismics. Speaking of those, uh, the same principle applies to them. Uh, watching prices of the weapons a tier above and below the ones you are merchanting is always extremely helpful, and the same thing counts for armor. They tend to follow the same price trends, uh, but there are always gaps which create opportunities for very quick profits. 
you can see that their lifecrafts have a lot more volatility than the armors, and this is because Virtus Wands and Books have a limit of 5 each, which makes them extremely popular for short-term investments. The flipping speed on weapons is also generally higher than on armor, because people buy and sell weapons more and tend to keep armors for a longer time, since they are relatively stable. Moving on to the Spirit Shields, so far they have been behaving somewhat different from the level 90 Barrow Shields, but in the future Jagex should bring them closer together, meaning that they will more likely have similar price patterns. If that is the case, you can watch both of them if you're interested in doing any investments in either of them. You also have to keep in mind that Spirit Shields have a limit of 1 per 4 hour and the rest uh, of the armor in Nexon SS has a limit of 2, so keep this in mind when you want to flip or invest, it's not the same. Now that pretty much sums up this guide for merchanting next gear and spirit shields. If you have any questions, please ask them below in the comments and I'll respond to you as soon as possible. I hope you enjoyed the guide and good luck with your merchanting.